right, here today in the studio we have Jake McGrew. Hi Jake, how are you today? Good, how are you young lady? Good, thank you. Can you tell us who Jake McGrew is? I'm just a simple guy looking for a simple girl. Fifth and Lycoming, look that up. Don't get much more ghetto than that. And uh, I grew up uh, with music. I've been writing music for a long time, as far back as I can remember. Big love for music. And uh, recently I've just gotten into country music. All this top 40 stuff. Sometimes I feel like the new music doesn't even have a soul. I thought country music was really the only music left that had soul. So I decided I wanted to check it out, tell some stories about my life, about things I've experienced, and uh, have a little fun with it. Just country sounds fun. Everything else is hip-hop and a lot of rock and roll just seems kind of mean, kind of depressing. So That's who I am. I'm a simple guy. So I take it you didn't always want to be a country music artist? Uh, no, no. Originally, uh, I, was a, uh, I was a DJ. I was a top 40 DJ on the radio, did a bunch of nightclubs and stuff for many, many years, and... Uh, I was as far away from country music as you can get. Shoot, you played country music in my neighborhood where I grew up, they'd shoot you. That's all I remember that night in me. She moved it right She moved it in Mexico on a Friday night I didn't flinch And I didn't fight She took me to Mexico on a Friday night They only referred 
to him his Elkabitan. And he drank his tequila like water, he seemed well alright. That's all I recall of that night in me. My dad thinks I'm, he still thinks I'm nuts for doing country. Matter of fact, the reason I'm doing, the reason I did this CD, Simple Girls, is because my daddy told me I couldn't do it. I said, Daddy, I'm going to do a country CD. What do you think about that? And he goes, what are you, nuts? Go out there and get a job. You're never going to make anything of yourself with country music, but that's the best way to get somebody to do something, tell them they can't do it. So I went and did it, and I think we got a pretty good project here. Who influences you musically? Oh, I've got a large selection, a huge collection of music, everything from rock to R&B, a lot of Nashville oldies, and I can't really put my finger on one particular artist or genre. I'm all over the place, but I think I've got a real good background, a real good mix of things that uh, kind of made up what uh, you'll hear on our CD, Simple Girls. Try him for a night or two See how it feels in his arms I know it's something that you've got to do I hope you're gonna miss my charm Well, I can't promise you my heart won't break But I hope to God that you'll come back Cause little does he know what makes you happy And little does he know what makes you smile How to love you No Little does he know He's not your style And all the time I got to know you And all the time I watched your eyes You had me schooled In how to love you Be a fool, you'll see his disguise Well, I can't promise you my heart won't break But I hope to God that you'll come back Little does he know your love for puppies Little does he know what makes you scream Little 
But does he know just how to hold you? So little does he know that you're my dream Does he know what makes you happy, so happy? Little does he know what makes you smile. Little does he know just how to love you. No. Little does he know he's not your style. write your own lyrics? I do. I've been writing lyrics since I was about 16 years old. I've got a big old book filled with them. Uh, some of them are really poor and bad, but uh, hopefully I've gotten a little bit of experience and a little bit of uh, practice under my belt, and I think they're a little bit better than they were when I first started. But yeah, I enjoy writing my own lyrics. It tells a story. I like telling a story, and that's another reason I got in the country. That's the only type of music you can tell a story with your lyrics. How do you go about writing your songs? Do you sit down and think about what you want to write, or do songs just come to you? You know, a lot of people have to force it. A lot of people I talk to say they take months to write lyrics, but it's a little different for me. It, it, it seems to just come to me. I can hear a track or a, a melody, and just words just kind of flow into my head. It's the strangest thing. Matter of fact, I had a dream one night. I had the whole music video of my dream to a song called Southern Girls, and uh. I got up in the middle of the night, it's probably about 3.30 in the morning, I got up and I wrote all the words down in my head and uh, kind of recorded it the next day. It's just, I'm on this cosmic wavelength, I know it sounds real strange, but uh, it just flows, flows in my brain somehow. I guess I'm lucky that way. You just finished your first CD, Simple Girls. Yep. Do you have a favorite song on that CD and why is it your favorite? Tough question, uh, a couple of people asked me that. but. Uh, I tell everybody I have two favorite songs. I mean, I like the Simple Girls track, which is the first track on the CD. It talks about women and how complicated they've become. I'm a simple guy, and I relate better to simple girls. Uh, not the professionals, not the people who put their career in front of everything, who actually want to live life, smile, have fun, and uh, enjoy the world. And uh, the second song I like, I probably like it a little bit better than Simple Girls, is one called Little Girl. I actually wrote that for my daughter, though she's probably not aware of that yet. she probably know by the time you watch this video. <laughs> She'll catch wind of that, and she may not be so happy about that. But it's all from the heart, and I love her very much. You heard that I ain't pleased. You're mostly good, but something about you just needs to tweak. And after all, I've tried to teach you about the world. You go and listen to your friends. Silly girl Honey, you know I'll love you till the end of time But I ain't gonna lie to you Cause you just ain't right all the time Sit down and talk with me to pick my words it took away you've no idea 
talking about that the other day and I, I thought a great tour would be me I'm the new guy on the block opening up for a, a, a group consisting of me and Darius Rucker and uh, Keith Urban although I want him to bring his wife because she oh, she just texted me <laughs> Nicole all right and uh, maybe uh, Kenny Chesney so I'd say me Urban uh, Chesney and uh, Rucker. I think that'd be a heck of a tour, don't you? I like it. That'd be a lot of fun. What kind of things do you do to relax? Uh, believe it or not, I write music. I chill out, write music, and uh, interesting enough, I hooked up with this author named Olivia Black, and she's writing a book called Mulligan. She said, hey, why don't you write a soundtrack for my book? And I said, sure, that'd be a lot of fun. So a lot of the songs on Simple Girl, is going to, you're going to find actually the lyrics and the, the songs as part of the story of her mulligan story. So uh, we've taken some early morning sunrise walks on the beach, and uh, I think I actually helped her with her story, too. She got stuck in the middle and came up with some ideas, and uh, she used them in the books. So that was a neat project. But I guess I, I relaxed by writing music. One of my favorite things to do. Well, Jake, thanks for coming into the studio. It was very nice to meet you. We well, wish you much success. Thanks very much. It was great to meet you. <laughs> 